What's up everyone, Video Box here doing a video of a box of Raging Tempest. Um, this is the new set that was released just yesterday actually. Well yesterday being Friday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this and yeah, get right into it. So this is one of the more anticipated sets to come out in quite some time. Although that's usually the case with a lot of sets, but this one actually is pretty much format defining, even though we haven't received um, some kind of limited list for quite some time, but I think after this set has one YCS to kind of mess around with, I feel like a list should come out at some point. Okay, so... Obviously the Zodiacs are one of the main things that people would want from this set. I think from seeing prices on Zodiac Barrage is actually the card you want to pull. From what I've heard, you only get like, what, maybe two or three per case, so let's see if we can get lucky here. Okay, so first Ultra, Zodiac, uh, Thorough Blade. Definitely not bad. I think personally for me, I only there's only a few cards in this set that I actually care for. Um, one of which is the Full Force Virus. I think it's a sleeper card. I, I know as of now only a few sets can use it, but I think in time, like an effect like that's kind of hard to ignore, you know? Okay, so I got True King uh, Lithos Sagum the Disaster. Not bad. And then Zodiac uh, Borbrow or Borbo. Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. This card actually isn't that bad. If you want to run the Ancient Gear deck. Next pack. Uh, Delta the Magnet Warrior. I'm very glad this card came out in this set. It's not worth a whole lot, but it actually does help the Electro Magnet Warrior deck if you really want to use it. I might do a profile on that at some point. Only because I feel like the deck is actually pretty fun. <clears throat> Next pack. Oh, nice. A Zodiac Rat Pier. So, this is a decent super to get. Only because any Zodiac um, engine has to run three of this guy. It'd be nice if we can get multiples of that um, in this box. Next pack. Another spiral gear utility wire and Nemesis Defender. I'm starting to think um sub tears have like one sub tears are starting to run out of time for them to be relevant. I think the fact that they're innately flip effect monsters um, most of the big monsters are flip effect monsters, it kinda makes the deck already slow as it is, so it's kinda hard to make it good, but we'll see. <laughs> Is that Tierra Source of Destruction? I think this was like kind of like the re the revamped version of Sophia. <clears throat> I don't think it's all that great because it's not that easy to bring out. <laughs> Next pack. Uh, it was a Dragon Collar Magician, and I think that's the promo card. It's one of the better promo cards that come out in a while. So, nine packs into this first half. No secret yet. I only got one ultra so far, so that's kind of bad. Maybe it's in the last three here. Oh wow! <laughs> I actually got the Zodiac Barrage. That's pretty cool. So there's my first secret, and was it Fusion Parasites? Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, was it Spiral Tough and then Subterra Behemoth uh, Dragosure? And then last pack, maybe the ultra, maybe the second ultra is in this twelfth pack. Yep, and I got Wind Witch uh, Ice Bell. I think this is one of the better ones to pull. And then uh, Winda, who's no longer a Shadal <laughs> from that art. 
So first half, pretty good. Second half of the box. I don't think I can top that, to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, Zodiac Whiptail, nice. I think the deck runs like um, one or two copies. Next pack. Uh, Fairy Tale Rella. I know these are short printed. Um, I think a card discussion might um, be up on our channel at some point featuring this card. I think this one's actually better than um, the one that came on in Invasion Vengeance. I think the name escapes me right now, but let's see. Lost Wind, Neo Galaxy Ice, Cypher Dragon. Reborn and Subter Cave Clash. If you guys are wondering why I'm reading the names pretty slowly, I'm actually reading it through the camera, so I'm not actually directly looking at the cards. Nice, another Zodiac Rat Pier. And uh, Shirinoi Sun Saga. So, so far this box actually has been pretty good. I mean, I got multiples of some of the decent cards in here. Got the best secret. Uh, heavy armored train iron wolf, and was that Wind Witch Crystal Bell? Among some of the other commons. I actually like this one, Light Sworn Judgment. <laughs> Although I think, um, what is it, Eclipse Wyvern does it a little bit better. Eater of Millions. Zodiac Combo, uh, one of my ultras on Dark Contract with Entities, and then Switcheroo. I think this is one of the ones that, one of the ultras you really don't want to pull, but to be honest I actually haven't read it yet, so <laughs> there's probably a reason why they made it ultra, I'll just say that much. <laughs> Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja. I think this is one of the few Super Heavy Samurai um, synchros that aren't exactly Super Heavy Samurai um, material specific. And another um, Tira. <clears throat> Next pack. Uh, was that Sub Terror Rare and another Delta? Nice. I think of the build that I want to use with um, Electromagnet Warriors, I only run two Delta, so... <laughs> I think the third will be a bit too excessive. Next pack... Crystron Sulfonir. This card actually helps the deck a lot. Like, even though it's a level 5, a lot of its effects are pretty um, useful. And then another Borbao. So I'm still missing the secret and I think another ultra. I'm hoping this box isn't mapped. Actually no, it's not mapped because my ultra was all the way down here. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods. I think this is the Foolish Burial for um, Link Spells and Traps. Not sure why they made this card a secret. It's not really practical for... I don't know, because I can't think of any spells and traps that you want to willingly send to the graveyard. <clears throat> At least nothing that's game-breaking anyway. I'm expecting another Ultra. Uh, was it Fusion Parasite, Cyber Angel, Natasha? This card actually isn't bad. Although the whole deck itself is pretty subpar. And then this last pack hopefully should be my other Ultra. And Odd Eyes Raging Dragon. Nice, I ended with the cover card. It actually looks pretty cool. Kinda wish they made this a secret instead of the Fusion Monster, but oh well. Former pal Laughmaker. Alright, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and sort through uh, basically the notable cards and see what I got. Alright, so for my secrets, I got the Foolish Burial Goods, which is the Foolish Burial for Spells and Traps, uh, Zodiac Barrage, which is by far the most expensive secret in the set for now. And then my four ultras, um, Odd Eyes Rage and Dragon cover card. It's always nice to pull. 
um, dark contract with entities. Um, Wind Witch Ice Spell. Uh, Zodiac Thoroughblade. Uh, I got two Rat Piers and uh, one Whip Tail. So, overall, a pretty decent box. And I will be at YCS Seattle. If you guys watch the stream, there's a chance you might actually see me on the stream as one of the judges. Until the next video, this is Video Box, and until next time, peace out, guys. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. You can also check out some of our other content by clicking on the videos below. For more updates, you can subscribe to Team The by clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, peace out guys.